one way or another, you know, chasing that weight, chasing that one rep, you know, injuries, niggles, things are going to pop up in your face. So you got to be ready for them. And, you know, it's not a bad thing actually getting injured because it just shows like, you know, it ain't easy and uh, there's a lot of obstacles you, you got to go through to get stronger. And um, the reason I'm saying that is because I've gone back to my program today um, just because, you know, I just want to try and get that 250 out of the way. And uh, hopefully by day 100 or maybe just after, I could hit at least 250 on my deadlift. So I'm back on the program that I started at the beginning. So today it was just like deadlift. I just smashed uh, 60, oh no, actually 70 for like 10 sets of five, working on tension. And then obviously I worked up my squats to 180 and uh, it was pretty, pretty okay actually, but it was a little bit cold in, in the garage. But my main point is like, I want to hit 250. I hit it 240 like four years ago, you know, so I haven't progressed much with deadlift. So I really want to get that half a time, 250 on the belt. So I'm going to home in and uh, try and get it done. Like I said, injuries do happen. And I think because when I did squats every day, I didn't record it on my YouTube. I did squats every day for 100 days, I think early 2019. And I injured my back, not doing heavy squats or now, but it was just pistol squats. One day I thought, let's just mix it up and do pistol squats. And I hurt my back. And it's never been the same, but over the years I've trained and I've kind of got back to where I was, but, you know, it's never the same. So that's what I'm working with. So I just want to stay motivated, stay in the zone and protect what I've got now and just improve on it. And uh, yeah, it is what it is, amigos. So I'll catch you on the next one. Yeah, buddy. Lightweight.